If you want to get ahead in life, you have to make a choice. So you can continue working for someone else and climbing the corporate ladder, or you can take a chance on yourself, build up some valuable skills and create a profitable business using your laptop. But in order to do that, you have to understand that succeeding on the internet is all about attention and algorithms. So people are quietly amassing small fortunes because they've figured out how to get attention from content they create and monetize it in multiple different ways. Now, more than any other time in history, the opportunity is rich and abundant, but only if you know where to look. So you can either go on to create real generational wealth and buy your time back, get that time freedom while doing something you're good at, or you can stay on the path that most Americans are on where you're working harder, grinding longer hours, hoping to get a pay raise just to cover your bills every month. Now, most of us were told to do the right thing, which basically meant get a college degree so that we can get a high paying job. Now, while that may have worked for our parents and grandparents, that advice is not as good as it used to be. So the total student debt in America is more than $1.6 trillion. And the median income for Americans is around $33,000 a year. So getting out of the rat race isn't about taking on debt so that you can get a minimum wage job that you're overqualified for. It's about working smarter and building profitable skills that you can use to create endless income streams in the future. So in this video, I'm going to cover the one thing that you can start doing today and why it's important to get you started as soon as possible, because there is no better time than right now. But before we get started, I want to invite you to watch my free masterclass it covers how I make $400,000 a month with my online business. So click the link in the description below, sign up for that free training, and let's get into the topic for today. So back when I was in high school, a common thing my parents and teachers told me to do was just go to college and get a degree, even if you had to take on debt, because basically you were guaranteed a job as long as you had that four-year degree. But if you look around you, most of the people who took on student loans, myself included, 10 to 20 years ago are still paying them down, especially those who became lawyers and doctors who often exceed $150,000 in loans. And if you've paid any attention to the economy lately, you know that you're seeing record inflation that's nearly three times that of the previous year. Wages have not kept up with this rising cost of rent, gas, groceries, and people are picking up extra jobs just to make ends meet. So first, you need to know that there is a way out, but you weren't taught any of this in school. School prepares you to be an employee and to follow the rules, basically be a worker drone. I don't remember learning anything about, you know, investing in the stock market, mortgage rates, compound interest, responsible credit card usage, maybe how to build a profitable online business, how to not take on debt, any of that stuff when I was in school because it's not taught in the curriculum. Instead, you're taught how to memorize information, to pass a test, and follow instructions that are laid out for you. And then you're encouraged to pick a subject you want to study in more depth so that you can specialize in it and get a degree and work in that field. So when it's time to go to work, you apply for jobs, you take the one that will pay you the most and you start working your way up. So the problem here is that a company wants to pay you the least amount of money for your labor so that it can stay profitable. It doesn't care about your needs or your rent costs or that you want to buy the healthiest food possible for your family. You know, there was a report in the top 300 US companies and found that CEOs are making an average of $10.6 million with a median worker making just $24,000 a year. That's a 670 times difference in income. So even with this in mind, most people don't have any idea that they could change their course and do something completely different. So they keep working the same job for years, hoping to get a promotion or a raise, which usually means more stress and longer hours because it's just not enough to get ahead anymore. But you can't just work more hours to increase your income. There's only 24 hours in a day. So a better approach is to build digital skills that make you money without requiring you to put in more mental and physical labor to make more money. So we want to eventually separate our time and effort from the total income we produce. We want to decouple time from money. So for me, the first step was building an indestructible personal brand that I could grow over time while mastering the internet algorithms that drive the attention you need to succeed. So you must learn learn how to leverage these search platforms and algorithms to build an audience and gain this attention and make money and build the digital skills to do that. And the only way out is to create something for yourself. Now, the way that I did it was by creating digital assets that would make me money while I slept. So in order to profit off these assets, though, I had to build an audience. So I didn't have money just to throw away at ads or spend a bunch of money on PR. So I taught myself how to get reliable, steady, organic, free traffic from places like Google, social media, and YouTube. So while I was working my nine to five, I created a blog, just my name, adamanfroy.com, and I started writing articles that filled a need based on what people were searching for. So when you search for something on Google, the results you get are basically Google's algorithm deciding what's most relevant. So Google uses advanced AI to scan the article for keywords related to the topic and then decides whether it's a good resource or not. And based on that, authority and user signals, it ranks what is best in the search results. So if you search for something like best web hosting, you'll get a list of the eight to 10 articles on the first page. And those are the pages Google suggests that are the most relevant and authoritative on the topic. So for example, I started out writing how-to articles because those can build trust. And then I wrote list articles about the best products and services 
because I knew people were searching for those topics and interested in paying for them. So since I use WordPress for my blog, I wrote articles about things like the best web hosting services. And in that article, I used affiliate links to drive traffic to web hosting companies' websites. Now, whenever a reader would sign up for an account with my unique affiliate link, I earned a commission. And because I get traffic to those articles every single month, and you can also join recurring affiliate programs, which pay you every month, you can make commissions every single month, all created from an asset I created just once. So when it comes to making money by writing articles on your own website, you can write it yourself or you can hire someone else to do the writing for you. That's the great thing about blogging because it doesn't have to take much time. And as long as you do it correctly and continue building this content into your life over time, you eventually rank, you eventually get free traffic to your site and that traffic will eventually turn into revenue without having to work extra hours. So you put in the work once, you create the content, you put it out in the world and it gives you these benefits for years to come. The key here is to make sure you're doing this consistently. So if you created three new articles per week, that's 156 articles per year. So Google loves when content is consistently produced and updated because it shows you're an authority on the subject and you'll be more likely to rank high in search engines, meaning you get more and more traffic over time. So I mostly want you to know that if you do this regularly over a long enough period of time, you can create recurring income for yourself that grows bigger and bigger the more that you do that. This is a content driven world, an information driven world. And in order to decouple time from money, you need to create content. Now the same approach works for the YouTube algorithm as much as, you know, it also works for social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. The more high quality content you post, the higher your visibility, the more you build up a powerful personal brand that makes you money for years to come. So now I want to talk about why any of this matters. So you want to buy back your time and create true financial freedom. So I've always been a little bit defiant of traditional norms in society, like these rules that were dictated years and years ago that we had no say in. So I wonder, you know, why do we spend most of our waking life, most of our time doing something we don't want to do? And I was tired of grinding my nine to five every day and being limited about how much money I could make, having a boss. You know, I couldn't work more to make more because I didn't want to spend more time at my job. I didn't enjoy it, but I also couldn't just quit because I needed money rolling in. I had a high cost apartment. I had bills to pay. I had all those things. So I needed a way to remove these golden handcuffs and free myself from having to trade time for money. So if you ever read any popular finance book, they'll always talk about financial freedom being the key to removing stress from your life and having more time to do what you want to do. So financial freedom means you no longer have to exchange your time for an hourly wage. So that could be like saving for retirement, the fire method, all these different things. So this way you set yourself up income producing assets that are making money long after you've built them. So instead of capping yourself out at a certain income level because you can't work more hours, it will grow over time as long as you keep producing content that gets attention and is monetized correctly. So eventually you can hire out these certain tasks to others so you don't have to manage everything yourself. You could even hire someone to run the whole thing if you wanted to. So for me, it wasn't just about making money. It was also about finding purpose, building a team and building something, building this indestructible personal brand. Because ultimately we're not meant to work endlessly for 40 years and just die. Now work is a major part of life and it's why the world is the way it is today. You know, it took a lot of work and innovation to create the phone or the laptop you're watching this video on. Someone had to build the house you're living in. Someone had to build all these things. We can't escape work, but it shouldn't be the thing that we dread and slog through for our entire lives. You probably know that quote from Confucius that says, choose the job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. It's an overused cliche, but it's true. If you aren't enjoying what you're doing daily to earn money, why are you still doing it? You have the power to use your mind to create something more profitable and a lot more fun for yourself. I know that it can feel overwhelming at first, but the best place to start is this personal brand that you can grow and adapt over time. So at the beginning of this video, I said I'd tell you the one thing that you can start doing today, and that is setting up a personal brand blog. All you have to do is get a domain, web hosting, set up basic website, and you start publishing articles regularly. Try to get your name as the URL. Use a nickname or a pseudonym if you want to. The site itself doesn't have to be perfect at first. All that matters is that you get started writing and creating content about things that you know well and can teach other people about. And it doesn't matter what niche you choose because what you decide to write about might change later. You could publish informational articles on camera lenses to use when vlogging. You could later write about home exercise equipment, but you're gonna learn from every article you write. Plus everything you publish can be updated and edited later based on the results you're getting. So you build momentum, you start publishing content, then you can always go back, refine, update, delete, tweak things as you go. So when I started writing articles, they weren't very good. They were far from good. When I started making YouTube videos, I wasn't comfortable on camera. I was actually horrible. But there are, you know, here I am a few years later from the blog, three years blogging, some months on YouTube, and now I have a business. It makes me over $400,000 a month all because I didn't give up and I just kept creating content. Now remember, the time is now. We're still in the early stages of this information age. It's not too late. It's not too oversaturated. So if you start taking action now, you can still take advantage of opportunities to grow your profitable online personal brand and finally decouple your time from money. So if that was interesting to you, if you want to learn how I went from basically $9 an hour to making $400,000 a month with an online business, click the link in the description below and watch my free 60-minute masterclass. It covers exactly what you need to do, the framework to get started. So make sure to watch that. Thousands of students have gone through it. Make sure to like the video, please check out other videos on my channel on blogging, SEO, you know, social media, affiliate marketing, all that stuff. And I will see you in the next video.